Help me disrupt YouTube's algorithm by liking this video, commenting on this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel. Thanks. I appreciate it. The slope equation formula can be used to find the slope of a line using sets of coordinates from two points on the line. M represents slope, rise represents the vertical distance traveled, or the difference in the y coordinates. Run represents the horizontal distance traveled, or the difference in the x coordinates. To use the slope equation formula to find the slope of a line, you need two sets of coordinates. Each set of coordinates would contain an x coordinate and a y coordinate. They call these two sets of coordinates ordered pairs. The first set of coordinates contains x1 and y1. The second set of coordinates contains x2 and y2. For this example, let's just say that the first set of coordinates have the x and y values of 2 and 4. The x values 2, the y values 4. And the second set of coordinates has the x value of 6 and the y value of 8. Let's use the slope equation formula to find the slope of this line. y2 minus y1. y2 is 8 and y1 is 4 over x2 minus x1. x2 is 6 and x1 is 2. 8 minus 4 is 4 and 6 minus 2 is also 4. That's all there is to it. The line that these coordinates represent has a slope of 4 over 4 and 4 over 4 is the same as 4 divided by 4 which is 1. So the slope of the line is 1. Let's keep practicing with these sets of coordinates. y2 is 12, y1 is 9. 12 minus 9 over x2 is 7, x1 is 5. So we have y2 minus y1, which is 12 minus 9, and that's 3. And we have x2 minus x1, which is 7 minus 5, and that's 2. The slope of the line that these two sets of coordinates represents is 3 over 2, or 3 halves. Remember, m represents slope, so we can say m equals 3 halves. The slope is rise over run. 3 represents the rise, or the vertical distance between the two points, and 2 represents the run, the horizontal distance between the two points. Let's use this set of ordered pairs, or coordinates, to find the slope of the line they represent. There's something special about these ordered pairs. Each ordered pair has a zero for its y coordinate. In fact, simply recognizing that both ordered pairs have a zero as their y coordinate tells you right away that the slope is zero, or the line has zero slope. Let's go ahead and use the slope equation formula to find out why. y2 minus y1, or zero minus zero, over x2 minus x1, or 7 minus 1. 0 minus 0 is 0, over 7 minus 1, or 6. The slope is 0 over 6, or 0 divided by 6, and 0 divided by 6 is 0, so the slope is 0. But remember, you can save a lot of time when you recognize that both ordered pairs have the y value of 0. This always means that the line has zero slope. Let's use this graph to get a visual illustration of this concept. Let's start with a single point at the origin. Its coordinates would be zero for the x-coordinate and zero for the y-coordinate. Watch how the y-coordinate stays the same as the point moves along the x-axis. When the point moves left and right along the x-axis, it follows a horizontal path with no vertical change. Let's add another point and create a line with zero slope. That means it's a horizontal line. The y-coordinates are the same in both points. In other words, the y-coordinates are the same in both ordered pairs. As long as it's a horizontal line, the ordered pairs will have matching values for the y-coordinates. Let's see what the ordered pairs and the line looks like when it's not horizontal. Take a look at the y coordinates in both sets of ordered pairs. What do you notice? They're not the same. Let's use the slope equation formula to find the slope. y2 minus y1 or 2 minus a negative 1. 
I like to think of minus a negative one as the opposite of negative one. And the opposite of negative one is positive one. So two plus one equals three over x2 minus x1. x2 is seven and x1 is negative six. So it will read seven minus a negative six. I like to think of that as the opposite of negative six, which is positive six. Seven plus six is 13. So the slope is three over 13. That simply means that the vertical rise is three units up and the horizontal run is 13 units to the right. Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.